Hey, hey, it's Keith Gosnell here from Amp Publishing, and today I'm going to walk through a brand new piece of software uh, called Push Connect Notify by Jimmy Kim. Um, so what Push Not uh, Connect Notify is, is uh, it allows you to capture push subscribers uh, really by pasting one line of code uh, on your website, and which will then allow you to send them browser push notifications at a later time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to jump right into the demonstration here. Now this has been tested uh, on Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, and it's working great. So for this example, I'm going to use Chrome. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. And what you'll see here is the dashboard. So this is a brand new, fresh uh, instance of um, a Push Connect Notify. Uh, you'll get a few little a little snapshot of kind of what's going on with your campaigns. Um, so let's just go ahead and create a campaign so we can see a little bit of you know what this thing does. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a campaign name, and I'm just going to use my own site. Okay. <clears throat> so the next thing you're going to want to do is it's going to walk you through and put your domain in there. Okay, and there is an optional thank you page. Um, so what, what happens here is after uh, your user um, opts in, you can choose to redirect them to a thank you page. You don't have to use it, it is optional, uh, but it's something you may want to, uh, want to use. Uh, and then we also have a little delay on uh, how long before the little notification will pop up in their browser. So I'm gonna just set that to two seconds. Now, what it's also going to allow you to do is capture um, e the email subscribers, okay? So, which can be pushed directly to your autoresponder. Now, you don't have to use this feature. Uh, you can simply use uh, Push Connect Notify and just broadcast push notifications um, as a way of informing your, your visitors um, of anything upcoming or anything that you want, any kind of messaging you want to give them. Um, however, I like the idea of capturing the email uh, as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Now, you can also put uh, in here is an, an optional form header. So when the form comes up, um, which you'll see later as I get through this, um, it'll basically be the headline that is that is displayed. So for these purposes, I'm just going to put something in here so you can see. Um, so we're going to say, you know, opt in uh, to receive, uh, receive software. Updates. Okay, whatever that might be. Uh, now what we're going to do is create, uh, is select the account. Now I have my Send Lane account uh, connected to this, uh, so I'm going to be able to select my list as well, and I'm just going to use a test list here. Now over on this side, you're going to allow to. This is pretty much what the little uh, notification is going to look like uh, to get somebody to opt in and, and uh, allow you to, to send push notifications. Um, and we can edit this, these things here. So you know we can say uh, for the sake of the demo here, I'm just going to say my actual name here, uh, site name publishing uh, wants to send you push notifications. Uh, you can also uh, update this little piece of text as well and change the badges and the icons. Okay, so if we want to push something, you know, we'll say it's like that um, and I'll leave this one uh, as is. Uh, what we can do is go ahead and just save those changes. All right, and we get the, um, the campaign saved message, so we're good to go there. All right, so next what we're going to want to do is Go ahead and let's take a look at the campaign details. Okay, so in the campaign details, it's going to give you just a little snapshot of you know uh, which browser they were using uh, when they subscribed, um, and you can also see the the raw subscriber log. Now, what he's also provided is a WordPress plugin. Now, I'm a WordPress user, so this works out very convenient for me. Um, and they also have a Shopify app. Um, so you have really a couple of different ways of embedding this into your site. You can simply copy and paste the embed code here within the body tags. Um, or you can use the WordPress plugin. That way, you don't have to, um, you know, really copy and paste anything. Uh, so that's this is the, the 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 version I've chosen to use, or the method I've chosen to use. Okay. So uh, now that we have our campaign um, set up, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a push letter. Okay. So this is basically the message that's going to um, you know display to the user when they when they opt in. Um, so here's a push letter. Okay, so you can choose an, an icon for uh, on the notification uh, that pops up. Uh, I'm just going to say, you know, we'll just use a little dollar sign and a catchy title, um, which will be, um, you know, I will pay you directly into your PayPal account. Okay, so we have a catchy title, and here's why. Uh, fill out my brief survey to earn your reward. OK. 
Okay. Now what I can do is also send them, we have to put in the URL of where we're going to send them when they click this, um, this, this notification. Um, so for this purpose, I'm just going to pick a random, there we go, URL. Um, now we can see who's going to get this. So you, you can go by whichever campaign you'd like, or if you want all campaigns to see it, you can just leave it. Um, you can just leave it blank. Uh, but I'm going to pick this one. You can also exclude uh, if you'd like. Um, so if you just you, know, you have many campaigns set up, uh, you can basically leave this blank and then just say, hey, I don't want it to go to these two campaigns, but I'd like it to send to the other twelve. Um, you can also have the how many times you want to repeat that message uh, up here up to five different times um, before they click and you'll see that has um, handy you know uh, info uh, rollovers here uh, so it's how many times um, do we send this until a subscriber clicks on it now you can have the option to send it now um, or you can schedule it uh, for a later time just simply select your time zone and set that date and time and what I'm going to do before we send this, because I'm going to want to send this now um, so that we can see what the push uh, notification looks like. Um, I will, whoop, let me change this to, there we go. I will um, take you over and kind of show you what that uh, opt-in um, uh, notification looks like. Uh, so as I said, I'm using the WordPress plugin and it installs just like any other plugin for WordPress if you're familiar with, with using it. Um, so I'm going to go over here to my site and I'm going to refresh. <clears throat> okay. And there we go. Okay, so AMP Publishing uh, wants to send you push notifications, and we'll click Allow um, to uh, to uh, to accept those. Okay, so we click Allow. Now at this point, because I've um, opted to have the opt-in form uh, pop up as well. Um, as you see, you thank you for subscribing. So now you have them on your push notifications list. However, they're still not in your autoresponder if you choose to use it. Um, so now here's the custom message that I had set up before, and I'm going to go ahead and just enter in a fake uh, thing here and we'll just call it at gmail.com and subscribe <clears throat> okay all done it's going to auto close for us and we can go to our testing here in send lane just to show you that it did and there i am right there okay so it, it, it successfully um was entered into into my autoresponder okay so now uh, at this point, uh, what we can do is uh, continue finishing up our push letter and go ahead and push it so we can kind of show you what that what that looks like. Oh, and because I uh, signed up after I started to create this, this is going to be sent to zero, so we're going to have to redo that one. Um, okay, so I'll just quickly fill this in. Okay, we'll put that without the WW. Okay, so we're good there. And we're going to get amped. And let's see here. Now you see it's changed to one recipient because I had opted in. And I'll just leave it for that. And we'll go ahead and hit all done. Okay, awesome. Okay, so your push letter will be delivered uh, according to your settings. Okay, and there it is right there. Um, I will pay you directly to your PayPal account, fill out my survey and get paid. And then we go ahead and click and there it is. Okay, so this is where I actually sent that link to, um, which was just some generic uh, bonus page that I had. Um, so as you can see, uh, it's very effective, uh, works perfectly. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look at the subscribers as well, just to kind of show you what we have. We have some reporting back here. Uh, now one of the, yeah, here, let me show you this first actually. Um, let's see. Click on that and leave that blank. Okay. All right. So we have one subscriber. Now you're going to see some other areas here. And this is what kind of sets this apart from any other kind of push notification software that I've seen is you have the ability to segment right inside of, um, you know, of inside of your push connect uh, notify account, much like autoresponders do where you can segment your list based on, you know, if you're sending them something about video, something about SEO uh, and so forth, you can actually segment those lists in here. Now that is a pro version. Um, uh, uh, feature uh, so you'll need to sign up for the pro version as well but that can be extremely powerful because then you're really you know targeting your messaging uh, to the to the right people okay so that concludes the walkthrough of push connect notify as you can see very simple to use very powerful uh, go ahead and click on the link below and get your copy today